Kevin, you sound great down here in South Florida yourself. And my name is Floyd. And so it can be done. Hey, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I've been playing with this configuration I've got here. This is a, I think it's an HP computer. It's pretty small. I think the screen's about maybe 10 inches. And it's running a AMD E350 processor with 3 gigs of memory. And I'm running SDR Sharp. And right now it's tuned to the uh, 40 meter handband. And that's what you're hearing. You're hearing a couple of hams. There's a, a net going on right now. It's uh, 2.15 in the afternoon here in Clearwater, Florida. And this thing is working great. I'm using the RTL-SDR.com dongle. I have to use, because of all the uh, strong FM stations, I have to use the rtl dash excuse me, rtl dash SDR.com filter, um, I, I said FM, AM stations, this is the AM or medium wave filter, and it knocks all those stations out, otherwise you just see spikes all over this spectrum. So it's working good, um, I'm using my G5 RV antenna right now, because I'm on HF. This dongle, I had forgotten how well this dongle works on HF. Of course, it works good or great on VHF and UHF, but it also works great on HF. I just have to select the, um, let me see, what do they call it? I've forgotten already. Let me stop this. Go to configuration. You have to select the direct sampling Q branch mode when you're in HF. And when you're in VHF, you use quadrature sampling. That's the one extra thing you have to do with this dongle as opposed to the SDR play. You don't have to do any switching at all. So it is working pretty darn good. I am impressed. Um, this is a, uh, what you're hearing is a net that's in Florida. So these people are in Florida. They're not far from me, maybe. Well, one person said he was in Orlando. That's probably line of sight 300 miles 200 miles I'm not very good at judging those distance anymore based on the video I did the other day using the um, SDR play and monitoring aircraft apparently uh, after I went back and checked some distances they weren't as far away as I thought they were anyway um, pretty amazed so the SDR sharp um, is not a CPU hog, so it will run. Probably HD SDR is okay too, but I couldn't get it to see the drivers. That's that's always a hassle, and I've used it many times before, and I've set it up many times before. But just getting everything to click is always a hassle. Even in Sharp, I forgot one step that you have to do to get it to recognize these SDRs. I figured that out. Boom, it's working. So I, uh, so now I have a configuration that is technically portable because I'm using um, a dongle and I'm using a laptop that has, i got to test the battery, but the battery does run the computer at least for 15 minutes. I know that. And uh, now we can do some field work, which I could not do before because my other laptops, none of the batteries are any good. They're well, most of the laptops are at least 10 years old. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you that uh, this this dongle works good on HF also. This is the $25 dongle. You can get these off of my Amazon store. They are the RTL-SDR.com is the name of the dongle. And this is the version 3, the latest version, version 3. That's it. That's all I can say. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. And thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.